Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Bear with me momentarily. Close this. Close this. Uh, adjust, adjust, adjust the mic. All right, let's see how this works. Excellent connection, it tells me. Close this, close. All right, it's a, uh, hmm, let's just hop in here. Hello. This is sort of a, a little bit of a test. YouTube has always given me troubles. YouTube just really doesn't like me streaming. So actually, let me, uh, yeah, let me... Turn on my playback. All right. Playback set on my end to 144p, just so I can follow along <laughs> and see if I lose my connection. We should be good. I've got this. It's limited to 720, 60 frames. I'm not trying to stream at 1080p. can't remember. I did a delivery mission last night, so I am not on the same station. Hello, hello. Expat or tutorial. Boy, talk about the callback. Oh, I'm glad it was useful. I haven't used expatter for probably nigh on six years now. So yeah, I'm definitely glad it's still useful. Pad 
one. Oh, glad I could teach you a couple things. It's always kind of the goal. I just want to, uh... I'm passionate about controller remapping, so I try to share stuff I figure out. I definitely prefer Steam Controller. I feel like it's... I mean, it's a bummer that it's not officially made anymore, but it creates... it offers the most robust solutions, in my mind. You have the back grips. I mean, it's particularly because on this pad, you know, I'm using it as a trackball mouse mode, but I can click up for camera. I can click down for free look. I can click left to lean, right to lean that way. Like, you just, you can't do that stuff on another controller. I can stick D-pad mode shift clicks under the track pads. It has a very good gyro. It has dual stage triggers. Like, I can full pull my trigger, and then all these clicks are different. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, it's stuff like that you just, you can't do with another controller. I have a full pull, full pull left trigger, so I can aim or I can full pull. I can aim and full pull. But that full pull and then gyro flick up is reload, which is like, ooh, chef's kiss. You just, you can't do that with other controllers. Well, with, with an Xbox controller, I, I totally understand having a preference, but I would... Re I would really argue, or I would really not argue, I would really try to convince you just to try something else, at least one that has a gyro, because the gyro can really, really level the playing field. Like, I just recently got a 8-bit do, 8-bit do SN30 Pro Plus. It's a dual stick controller, but it has two little back grip buttons, and it has a gyro. Uh, Stark, my, um, the swipe is trackball mode right now, so I can flick it around, it's like a mouse, and then I also have gyro mouse. Now, if I, let's get out of here a little bit, if I hold this left pad click, that's a modifier, then my right pad is a joystick camera that is for analog strafe up and down and analog roll. And the reason I went with joystick camera is because that's relative to where you put your thumb on the stick, on, on the pad. So I could like put my thumb up here. Nothing is happening until I move to the left I move to the right. I move down. You know, so it, it's not... I don't have to be absolutely in the center, like a joystick move. Hey, whoa, whoa! What the hell? Well, thank you for that. I like money. Feel free to give me more. Actually, let me... 
Let me adjust this chat window so I can read the chat a little better. Well, like I was saying, I mean, it, you don't have to get a Steam controller. Steam controllers are going to be hard to find, but I, really anything like a Switch Pro controller that has gyro, just you know something. If if it's for PC use, I think you'll you'll really appreciate having that gyro. I said in my Touch Protect video that I didn't have any issues. Uh, no, I haven't had any. I'm still using the same controller that I used uh, in button mod video I did like two or three years ago. It's a black controller with wood grain touch protects. Or do you mean you mean just issues specifically with the touch protects? Um. I have noticed only if I use thumb socks, then that's like, that's too much. Thumb socks plus touch protects, too much. It, it interrupts the sensitivity, but I actually, I have very light use, so I'm not really a fan of the thumb sticks at all. All right, let's, uh, let's do something here. Let's play. Let's go to some contracts. Trickers on the Pro 2. Um, I can't really compare it with an Xbox. I, I the, un, the Xbox controller I have is an original launch version Xbox 360. So I'm not sure what the triggers feel like. But the triggers... Let me pick it up here. The triggers on the SN30 Pro 2 are pretty light. Like you don't have to squeeze them really hard. And yeah, gyro activation is always always the frustration with anything that's not Steam controller. But still, I would I would say go for a controller that has gyro for PC use. All right, let's uh let's just accept this one. So it can be in the background. And let's go. Outsourcing. Hmm. Is that going to be shipping? I don't think I've ever met with that person before. General, bounty hunter. Yeah, let's let's try that. I'm curious what they say. So track. Go to my map. Elite Dangerous? I I have no clue. And I would probably say that this specific config would not work, because this is this is a lot of custom stuff. Though I did look at some elite bindings to get like uh like to do targeting on A button. I'm pretty sure I, I was looking at what 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 Whoa. I don't even know what the hell that meant, but thank you if that was something on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know.
I also just kind of love the, the the perfect my channel kind of vibe that I'm streaming this game and I'm going to go do a mission where I talk to somebody. <laughs> just going to go meet with some executive about shipping routes or something. Yeah, Xbox, no gyro. That's that's actually why I kind of settled on the um, SN30 Pro 2, just as, like, having a more standard controller in the wings if I want to try stuff. Because it has dual sticks. It has two back buttons. You don't get four, but you at least get two, and it has gyro. And I, there's a switch right on it that I could, like, switch it to X input mode if I want to test... Xbox controls on something. Alright, meet with Constance. Constance or Constantine? Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting laggy, getting laggy. Some decoupled. Maybe uh, if I dock with a station, I'll do decoupled. All right, we gotta get the lower bill. Yeah, Game Father. If if you have a couple games that are giving you troubles, Glossy is definitely worth it. I don't use it often, but when I do use it, it's it's very good. Zoinks! I'm getting eleven frames right here. There we go, frame rate's getting a little better. I also apologize if there's a bit of a delay as I'm watching this in my playback. That's that's just what I'm stuck dealing with if I want to stream on YouTube. the airport in this place? I can't remember. Um, gyro is basically mouse. So this is full gyro right now. Right pad and gyro are mouse. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I actually usually do bounty hunting. I was just starting to build up my reputation some with, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna hit that. With, um... 
a couple delivery missions. Landing gear engaged. That looks like a really small hangar. the never remember where over here yeah like if we check my reputation I have done a little bit bounty hunters guild a little bit person security per se like I mostly have done bounty hunting and then just a little bit of a junior runner, a little bit of cargo. Oh, sorry, Stark. I, I did read that, and then my brain ignored it. <laughs> I, got, I got distracted trying to land. Um, I'm not using Menant's edge tap technique. I often don't use that because you lose uh, hip fire modes on triggers. And specifically with this config, I'm combining on flight and uh, FPS stuff. Okay, wait, let me again focus for a second. Where am I going? I'm going to. Meet Constantine. Central Business District. Okay. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't... I tend to not use that because you'll lose... dual stage trigger stuff. If you do that. Like, you have to keep it as a simple threshold on your trigger actions. As, as it's like swapping back and forth between the layers to do the edge tap. Plus, it can create issues with trackball mode on the mouse. We're sorry. You have exceeded the allotted time to depart. We will have to return your ship to storage. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your call. Oh, 17 frames a second. Um, the technique is... Menenth... Menenth's umbrella... Storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Is this where I want to go? Metro? No, I want to go this way.
but yeah, the technique is um, basically you could have taps on the deep on the pads for D-pad, which I actually did use that in an old config for this. Uh, I have videos on it, and Menenth has videos where he's covered it. Regarding decoupled, um, I can simultaneously. Yeah, I mean, I I can move. The only the only part where you're not gonna get analog full movement would be rolling and uh, strafing up and down. I would be strafing up and down with the grips, which is going to be digital, and rolling would be digital for left and right click on the right pad. But as I was saying before, if I need those to be analog, I can do a modifier to hold, so it's sort of a, a little bit of a compromise, but still giving you way more control than what you would normally have. So it would be like... You know, I have the left pad giving me all the strafe, strafe, forward, back, left, right, grips, up and down, um, click left and right over here to roll, or I hold left pad, click, then this right pad becomes analog up and down and roll. But I always have control over all of that when I'm in the pilot seat. Uh, yeah, this is this is the most most crowdfunded game in history. They've, they've raised uh, just shy of $400 million, I think. Or more than $400 million. Welcome to Metro Center. Transfers to the perimeter, spaceport, and industry lines. Uh, where am I going? I can't remember. Perimeter line? No, I gotta go through the Metro Center. And this is like, particularly right now, this is running like absolute garbage for me. I'm getting 13 frames a second right now. It's usually not this bad. Workers District. Where the hell am I going? I can't remember how to get to the business uh, district. Metro. Residences. It's over this way, right? Um, I have an RTX 3060, and it, this is a, a laptop. <laughs> so the, the fact that I'm running this game on a laptop is uh, is probably pretty impressive. And yeah, right now it's this is running really bad. Did I take the wrong train? I haven't been to Lorville in a long time. I thought there was another train from this area. Alright, we're just gonna chug through the 
slideshow. I'm just gonna sprint. Business district. Yeah, like me trying to, to run this game and stream it is on a laptop is it is a bit of a gamble. Um I think this game is like I wanna say that it's like thirty gigabytes. It's not huge. Is eighty? I didn't think it was eighty. Okay, actually, I'm gonna kick this into full screen just to see if we get a little bit better. Let's go medium. No, not really. Oh, most most games are like, now yeah, eighty is kind of. Um, I have. Uh, what what is it? Now no, uh, this voiceover is driving me crazy. I can't hear myself think. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I just played through that, and that was just shy of eighty gig gigabytes. Okay, over here. I just need to get through this and get the hell out of here, because this frame rate is really testing my patience. If you have an interest in this, though, they often do free fly events where you can try it out. I like your armor. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been here for a while. They changed a lot of this stuff. Okay, am I ready for my big meeting? We'll do some role play walking. Oh, 
room full of people. I'm Constantine Hurston, of the Hurston Dynamics Hurstons, junior outsourcing agent. Your contracting file has been assigned to me. Let's begin, shall we? Let me check the system. There is an open job. Here are the job requirements. Have a look. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I had ever met and talked to him. Mercenary safe retrieval. Oh, Hurston Dynamics. Central's been notified. HTS Hendrix been overtaken by scavengers and thieves. Go ahead and look it over. Clear to use whatever force is necessary to secure the safe. But understand security is primary primary will be issued. Check. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a lot of money. Yeah, usually if if Sounds good. Let me just validate tag you. There we go. Great. You head out and I'll get started on the paperwork. <laughs> there we go. The frame rate's kicking up now. Jeez. Now it's like now we're at 40. This I can live with this. But yeah, if you've heard anything of this, it's usually most large gaming sites talking about how it's a total scam which like like yeah um i'm playing it right now like yes it's taking a very long time but what they're showing off is is impressive to me the game is about life it's about learning about who you are <laughs> it's a uh, it's just a space simulation. There isn't a story in it per se right now. It's just kind of do missions. It's like a space MMO. No DLSS. I am using uh, image scaling. Like I'm actually running the game at 1969 instead of 2k which is my native resolution that this resolution has worked i mean i guess i could I could bump this down while i'm in this place at least let's go under 1080 Oh, no, that's going to screw up the capture. Screw that. We'll keep it where it was. 1969. Okay, we're back. Yeah, um, but it's mostly, so I pull up, pull up my map. So I am right now, just to give you an idea of the scale of stuff. So I'm here in Lorville. There's all these other places on this one planet. There are these moons that you can go to that are like full-size moons <laughs> go all around. This is one planet. I back out. Some stations. 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 Another planet. Another planet. Another planet. It's like, go to this planet. Moons. So yeah, there's a, there's a lot here. Uh, yes, that... I'm actually using NVIDIA... NIS right now. That's why I'm running the game 
in 1969. That's a custom resolution for the image scaling. Oh, this is so much nicer. 40 frames as opposed to 10 that I was working with when I first got here. I guess it just took a while to stream all the stuff in. I don't know. Uh, I'm not paying any attention to where I'm going. Yeah, I don't want to go in here. I was just walking around reading chat. <laughs> Uh, I think there's five planets, five total planets, but there's also the moons that have a lot of stuff on them. So, this is where I started from. I need to stop reading. <laughs> I, need, I need to learn how to read and walk at the same time. Everything here looks the same, so exit. That's another side hall, so over here. Yes. Yeah, the image scaling is pretty amazing. sound is there, but it's flashing images? What do you mean? I'm showing I have an excellent connection. And my little preview is still showing everything. What's up, buddy? There's no computer in existence can run this game smoothly at all times right now. It's mostly dependent on servers. Like, if the servers start running like shit, it's going to run like shit for everybody. But it is a fairly demanding game. You absolutely have to have an SSD. That's the one big thing. Yeah, NIS, the NVIDIA image scaling, is like a dumb DLSS that you can put on all games. The current state of the game, I would say... I'd say it's looking pretty good. I mean, it, you still have lots of server issues and lag and desync, but I haven't been getting crashes. They're adding more mission content. There's stuff to do. I mean, just to be clear, like, computer specs do matter, but it is also in 
it, it's an online game, so you will be limited by the health of the servers. Okay, Metro Center, Customs Area. Piece of spaceport, yeah, that's where I want to go. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're... My computer does not, my laptop does not like this area with all the troops running around with all the uh, security guards. Get the hell out of here. That was Hangar 9? Yes, Hangar 9. Well, it's like this, like... I just keep getting massive dips. I'm fluctuating between 60 frames a second and 9. Like right now I'm at 15. Like I'm not even sure how much of that is. Is it my computer? Is it the server? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you mean in my configuration? Yeah, I'm using left stick as a D-pad. I use the touch pads for analog. to open up all the way. doing?
Yep, see ya. Hendrix. Scavengers and Thieves. Clear to use whatever force is necessary. Secure the safe, but understand that secure delivery is your primary objective. Payment will be issued upon successful completion of your task. All right, so go to HDSF Hendrix. Where is... Hendrix. Okay. Yeah, increasing the uh, page file and shader cache made a big difference for me. But, I mean, clearly it's not doing anything right now. I'm stuck at 15 frames. I'm usually getting between 40 and 50. There, there we go. Now it just kicked up to 42 frames, 43. Oh, that's so much nicer. So let me quantum over here now. What is going on? Why will you not let me get there? Let's just clear. Landing gear engaged.
There we go. Um, why no Twitch? Well, I mean, it's really just, where will people see me? And when I stream on YouTube, there's more people around that, that, you know, subscribe to me. That's where my, that's where my audience base is. So when I stream on Twitch, it's like nobody, excuse me, like nobody watching or one or two people. Oh, this is gonna suck, because it's all pitch black. I don't even know if I have a gun, either. This is gonna be an FPS mission. So I'll probably get to see me die. Yeah, I have 32 gigs of RAM. I'm running a... It's a Lenovo Legion Pro 16-inch laptop. It is um, 32 gigs of RAM, a Ryzen uh, 9500, 9800. I can't remember the processor. A good processor. <laughs> Newer processor. And a uh, GTX 3060. There it is, that little blinky, the little blinky red light. That's where I'm heading to. Oh shit, is this gonna be turrets? Yep. Balls, balls. Nice if this wasn't all pitch black and I could see what the hell's going on. Do I even want to do this? Do I want to just do some space combat? Well, I mean, if I'm going to do this, I need to land here anyways and go. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I'm hitting something.
I mean, I hate that it's like pitch black. That's why I'm tempted to just go do something else. Oh wow, yeah, I don't have anything. I have 27 bullets. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> I didn't properly uh, stock up for it. It's fine. Nothing to see, nothing to see. Landing gear retracted. Yeah, I don't wanna cheese out the AI. I like to at least pretend like I can have firefights. It it's mainly I, I just I don't like doing these missions in pitch black. And that was a mission that I wasn't realizing. I've done that before. Wait, I can't even go in there. Because I'm damaged. I'm going to have to get out into space first. That's because I lost one of my... I lost a dorsal fin.
what they did to my baby boy. Does look pretty cool though. Solution for the stutter? I, I don't have stutter, so I don't know. I don't experience that. Like, it stutters in every game you play? Desktop, too? It's for me, it's smooth. Try it. Wired? Wired connection? The official dongle? Bluetooth? If you're using Bluetooth, that is always a higher latency connection than the dongle. So that could be introducing some stutter. Yeah, I usually use a little bit of mouse smoothing. Proceed to assigned landing bay. Head to Om and then back down the planet? What are you what are you talking about? To do what? I'm going to repair, because my ship is damaged. And then I was thinking of doing some other mission. Torque imbalance. Ugh. Landing gear engaged. Oh. Torque imbalance. Torque imbalance. Yeah, works automotive. I'm not sure what you're referring to. But I, I'm I don't know what problem you're trying to fix. Hopefully the repair works, that sometimes kind of buggy. There we go. Beautiful.
Thank you. Um, oh, how many controllers do I have? I think I have a total of uh, four. And I have one that is unused as a backup. I have a launch version that was retired. A second one that became the airbrushed one. That one's retired. The one that I'm using right now. And then one that I got as a backup. So I think I'm just going to get back to Everest Harbor and then uh, putz around my inventory a little bit and then probably quit because I've been at this for a while. But this was at least a successful test for YouTube streaming. Okay, yeah, because Works Automotive, I I did not know what you were referring to. It was, yeah, something with the waypoint was getting all screwy, plus I was running it at like 10 FPS, so it just wasn't registering that I was trying to hold in my uh, um, quantum drive. It just wasn't working. Son of a bitch. Oh boy, now we're down to 13 frames a second again. Oh. So annoying every single thing I'm trying to do is just like pitch black which makes it like the least interesting to look at like hey you see that nice big space station in front of me nope you can't see a thing Yeah, I hear you on the claiming thing, but I'm trying to be a little bit more honest with how I'm playing the game. Like, I do want to try to push through the system the way they made it. You're not supposed to claim the ship. You're supposed to, if you can, get it to a station, repair it, refuel it. Yeah, you can see it if you ping, but still, it's like, just for the visual experience of it, like, you all just see a black screen. It's boring gameplay. That's actually why I'm saying I'm probably going to quit, too. Like, I appreciate people pointing things out, but I probably know more about the controls of this game than most people because I've spent years going through every single binding. 
So like, yeah, I know that I can do all that stuff. He says crankily. Grump, grump, grump. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. I will never abuse Gamma. Try some nice little analog thrust down. Ooh. thought I had one of my uh, LMGs armed. I guess I didn't, because I, I must have been clearing inventory from one station back to uh, Hurston. Uh, and let's go somewhere. Some more light. All right. Let's.
Let's get rid of my little Nerf gun. Hey, no, I didn't want you on this gun. Ugh, this freaking inventory system. <laughs> Miko, I need that. Well, anyways, I don't need to do this on screen. I think, though, that I am going to end this. I need to get some food, get some water, take a break, get some air. So, yeah, that's some uh, Star Citizen. I didn't really accomplish anything. Oh, no, I met, I met uh, Constantine Hurston. So, yeah. That's all I got. I will see you around.